in almost every gare at the most prominent position are shrines. Most are Tibetan Buddhist altars that display icons, artifacts, and sutras. Faith amongst Mongols is strong. Throughout the landscape, there are signs of it. Atop most hills and along crossroads are ovals. These are piles of rocks built up by passing travelers. They bring good luck to those who walk clockwise around them three times, and at each lap, add a rock. When Genghis Khan rose to power, one of the uniting factors of his empire was religious tolerance. He and the Hans that followed respected religious freedoms, and the great capital city of Herhorn had in it a mosque, Buddhist temples, and even emissaries from the Vatican. Herhorn was destroyed by the Manchurians in 1388, and all that remains there today is a Tibetan Buddhist temple called Erden Zhu and a few turtle sculptures which once marked the city's boundaries. During the communist era, religion was repressed and many religious figures were purged. However, since the fall of the Soviet Union, which later led to Mongolia becoming a democratic nation, Restrictions to faith were lifted, and there's a re-emergence in faith amongst people here. The most prominent of these faiths is Tibetan Buddhism. A great representation of this is a statue of a Buddhist bodhisattva named Jen Resik, located at Gandan Monastery in Ulaanbaatar. When the Manchurians fell and no longer ruled China and Mongolia, Mongols marked their new freedom by building the first statue. Then. When the Russians came, they took it from Mongolia and melted it down. After the fall of the Soviets, this statue was rebuilt to mark a new sense of freedom and independence. <laughs>